Welcome to Assistive Technology. Today I plan to provide you a baseline understanding of assistive technology. This includes areas of use, different types, and where you can find more information. According to IDEA and Section 508, assistive technology is any equipment or item, regardless of how it was acquired, used to maintain, increase, or improve functional capacity in any individual with a disability. Assistive technology includes software and hardware. Hardware is defined as any type of physical device, anything you can touch and see. Software is different computer programs that are used, such as things in your cell phone or your GPS, even the computer you're using right now. You may be wondering why people need assistive technology. IDEA, or the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, focuses on children's education and their functional performance within their school system. The Assistive Technology Act of 1998 focuses more on involving families and individuals in the decision-making process and the upkeep of assistive technologies in programs, laws, and regulations. In any case, it varies per individual, but assistive technology can be used in all areas of life. Every individual will use assistive technology in a different way and in different contexts, such as home, school, work, and within the community. Assistive technology can take on the role as something simple or intricate. Here within the home, you can see a simple assistive technology device is a tub grab bar, which is used for safety when getting in and out of the tub. An intricate system shown here is used with the assistance of another person for movement in the tub while remaining safe. Always remember complex technology requires the assistance of a trained professional. A beanbag can be a simple way to change seating options for children at school. While a complex seating option that allows the child to participate is pictured above, this lets them participate at the highest level in a school setting. Always remember, complex technology requires the assistance of a trained professional. A simple option at work for people with limited movement in their upper extremities is a mouse with a tracking ball. A complex system is an eye gaze response interface computer aid, also known as Erica. It is used by people who have extremely limited body movement. The computer uses eye movement with software to use all programs completely hands-free. Remember, complex technology requires the assistance of a trained professional. Getting out in the community is often a challenge for people with disabilities. A rolling walker or even a cane is used by the individual to help them navigate safely. They could be going to and from work, to healthcare appointments, to get the groceries, or even for leisure. An intricate system is an electric wheelchair, which is used for mobility for someone who has much less movement within their body. Always remember, complex technology requires assistance of a trained professional. Barriers with assistive technology can include lack of training, insufficient funding, time restrictions, ineffective assessment and planning processes, procurement and management difficulties, policy barriers, society's prejudice, knowledge and skill barriers, and even access barriers. Occupational therapists receive the foundational knowledge in school, but it is the student's and the therapist's responsibility to obtain more specific training for the technology they will be working with. Occupational therapists often find themselves with the role of the procurement and the implementation of assistive technology. But we also find ourselves becoming an advocate, the consultant, educator, trainer, and facilitator. Occupational therapists must practice from a holistic frame of reference. We must consider their body and their mind to be holistic. The main focus should be the client and what is best for them. Occupational therapy has a responsibility to provide information and to match technologies with the user's needs. As OTs, we must use appropriate language. It has to be understandable and adequate, which should allow the families to make an informed decision. Occupational therapists use their skills to analyze the person and the environment and to come up with the best fit. You have to consider the user's preferences, where they will be using it, and the characteristics of the technology. I hope you will follow these external links to find information on the legislation behind assistive technology. Here, you will find common terms used when discussing assistive technology.